right, y'all. Welcome back to Tennessee Tuesdays. Episode number 24. 24. Keep track of Spanish. Um, wow, well, it's been uh, been busy. Busy in Tennessee. Temps are amazing right now. Temps are perfect outside. Even though almost every leaf has fallen off the tree. I just want all the leaves out of the yard, so... Not every leaf is off the tree. There's a lot of trees that still have leaves that still but have a ways to go. But. Most of the leaves in our, the trees in our yard have no leaves left on but them. But we need to clean them up because they're everywhere. And I'm tired of losing uh, Bren. And the dog gets lost in them. And, but it's great, great weather. So it's good, good weather for... It's beautiful weather. Leaves. Um, but we got some big voting coming up next week. Um, and primarily there's... Four amendments to the Tennessee Constitution, which are kind of a big deal. Um, when you're amending the Constitution, it's kind of a big thing um, because the Constitution is like the say-all for the state. So there are four four big amendments that are on there. Um, I'm going to go over the four really quick, and then we'll go back and just, just chat about what that all means. So the four uh, amendments. A yes vote on each amendment will, one, amendment number one, Protect workers' rights by ensuring union memberships cannot be a condition of employment. So it's a right to work type thing. Um, Amendment number two is establish a protocol for emergency transfer of power if the governor is temporarily incapacitated. Uh, So like your governor needs a break. Amendment three, fully abolish slavery. Slavery is still a thing. I thought that was gone a long time (laughs) Um, ago. By removing an involuntary servitude exception for prisoners exemption sorry um and number four amendment number four would remove a prohibition on um on religious ministers holding office in the state legislature so um jumping right into number one right to work tennessee is a right to work state which is a good thing like we like that it should stay that way it's it's been that way for 75 plus years um as gary on tennessee stands said um this is already like in in law and stuff like i don't know why we need to add this to the constitution like it's not something that necessarily needs to be like in the constitution right so so what is right to work if you don't know what right to work is Um, By Tennessee state law definition, right to work means it is unlawful for any employer or organization to deny or attempt to deny employment to any person by reason of the person's membership in affiliation with resignation from or refusal to join or affiliate with any labor union or employee organization of any kind. So basically, you work at Target. Target cannot force you to join a union if they unionize which i think is fair which you see the starbucks trying protest to, right yeah because they're trying to unionize and stuff but it's a right to work state so you can't have the union you can't force people to join it so it's your right to work right so it protects the citizen which is a good thing right i think um, it is and it's being pushed um you know it's being pushed that this needs to be put into um the constitution for some reason i don't think that needs to be put into the constitution and there's a lot of it's very vague wording it's very ambiguous um there's not too much detail on it we did just have one of the biggest ford plants uh get the go ahead in tennessee by our sweet governor bill lee um so i don't know if this is coming on the heels of that if this has anything to do with the ford plant um but i don't know employment law and the constitution don't need a mix like we just that has nothing to do with it needs to be an employee employer thing and stay out of the government and the business of it um some democrats have tried to spin it as um like slavery like trying to tie it to slavery which i don't get um but it's just i don't know it doesn't need to be in there it doesn't need to be in the constitution so we'll we'll probably be voting no on that one But again, dive into there. Make sure you are um, educated and you know enough about it to vote yes and add that to the actual state constitution because it's kind of a big deal. Um, I frankly don't trust even Republican lawmakers in Tennessee now. So uh, just because they're saying to vote yes or something, I'm not going to do it. We don't want it added to the constitution, right? I mean, I, 
I don't is know yes enough, like I'm... actual yes on the thing or yes means no. You know how sometimes no, it's they... not one of those tricky things. If you say yes, things. you're gonna add it to the Constitution. Okay, because sometimes they get you there. Yeah, it's one of those things where I don't know enough about it or I don't feel strongly enough about it. I'm not gonna do it. So exactly, I don't think we need it. Uh, so number two is uh, the succession plan for a governor, which is really weird because. Article 3, Section 12 of the state constitution already has a plan in there what happens if the governor were not be able to work or something, right? So why do we need another that's thing a, added? That's a great question, If there's only one added there, what's the point of adding another one? Isn't one good enough? That's a great question, and Babs is not your political... They're probably trying to trick us into something that we don't need to be it's, tricked into. That's a very good point, Babs, and that's why I... I just don't trust them. So if um, one is there, I think it should be probably well yeah, utilized. So if the governor needs a break, well, then he just resigns. Like, that's it. Like, that's what it says. And then we way. have a, a new governor. Yeah. So, again, there's no need for it. it it's a no. Um, so that's number two, just in case you're, uh, your governor needs a break. Um, number three. Now, this is interesting because I was coming home from the gym today. And I actually saw this while I was driving home. Um, number three, ban slavery completely. I thought slavery <laughs> was abolished uh, that's abolished what, that's what you, years that's what ago. You thought. That's what you I thought. I didn't even know slavery existed. Involuntary servitude, so laboring against one's will for another. So I passed this today, and it's trash pickup, basically. Uh, so you see the oh, sheriff. Oh, I've seen them on the highway today. Yeah. So you see the sheriff pulled over on the side with his lights on. He has a, a dump trailer, and there's three, four guys. Uh, so this is usually guys. This is considered slavery. Yes. But they're inmates, and they're doing their time by cleaning up the community. But so. that's slavery, and they should be paid. I don't think if you're a prison inmate, you should be paid to clean up the side of the road. Yeah, well, somebody thinks that they I should. Don't, I don't think that would be slavery. They're doing something to pay back whatever they did. I remember the first time I saw it, I was excited because I thought that was just the thing of like the past where, you know, they wore the striped outfits and they went yeah. out there and picked up trash and nope, they do it out here and our highways are very clean. They had red and white stripes on. I think I seen them down there going towards Lenore City today as well. They do a fantastic job. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, I don't think you need to be paid for it, but uh, maybe it'll help you with your sentencing or your time. If you do the crime, you pay the time. Ooh, the bad. <laughs> I mean, just being honest, Same I don't think bars. you need to be paid for it. Wow. Again, so yeah. Um, That's rather stupid. Inmates don't need a right to work. So um, again, we don't need it. And uh, that's a no on that one. No on all three so far, because I think they're all kind of rather stupid. Well, we got the fourth one, which is interesting. Ministers of the gospel cannot hold office, which is really weird because I don't know why it's it's even in there. Um, like why, like why a minister couldn't hold office? I'm not sure why. And there's no that like may... details, you know, stating why. It seems unfair. So if I'm a minister, I cannot run for an office job because mm. I'm a minister? Yeah. But what does that have to do with... I don't know. It seems, it seems unconstitutional as it is in that aspect. I guess we need to research that more because I'm not too clear on it. Yeah, there's nothing. I read as much as I could. I can't put it together why it would even be in there in the first place. So this one I am leaning towards yes on. But it also doesn't need to be added to the Constitution. That's the other side of it. Like, I don't know. Like, does that really need to be added? I mean, it does seem like if it's in there and, and ministers aren't allowed to. Okay, if it's in there, yes, I think we should add it as that they could run for office. But if it's not in there, then what's... Because I don't, I don't see how, you know, operating the church or running the church would... would affect you to affect you be to a lawmaker? State. Yeah. So... If you can run a church, you probably could run a... You may, maybe you could. Maybe better than some of these people we you have now. Might, you might. So those are the four. So it sounds like we're no, no, no. Maybe it all knows. I'm going to say all, maybe all knows. Maybe a yes. Well, I don't know. no on four. one through three for sure. Four, I don't really understand fully. Which is 
where you should vote no then. Probably so. If you don't know it, just vote no. And if um, there's you can't find anything on the internet that helps you think you should vote yes, probably vote no. I should I take that back. Actually, if you don't know on it, if you don't know anything about it, don't vote on it. Like do not vote either way. Yeah. Because you're automatically putting yourself in that box if you're voting one side or the other that yeah. you have a feeling or an opinion against uh, towards that thing. So you must know something about it, right? So if you don't know, uh, just don't vote on it. Uh, cool. You can vote your first three and say no. Or if you want to vote on all of these, research them before November 2nd on the handy dandy internet. You can Google probably all of these questions and get answers to. Only it's not the second because tomorrow's the second. November 8th, they said. 8th. Yes. Eighth. It would be the eighth, which would be next Tuesday. So yes, do your research. Um, you know, get comfortable with it before you vote on it. Um, Governor Bill Lee, uh, is he worthy of our votes? I don't know. That's a tough one. Uh, there's a lot of people like I scroll through Instagram on his page, you know, and I see people that are like, "Oh my God, from California, we absolutely love you, Bill Lee. Thank you so much for holding the line." And um, yeah. But there, the other one might not one be much of a, a line to hold. But yes, then again, so if you're going to take the stand, which I've seen battles. a lot of <laughs> patriots doing is out of principle, I'm not going to vote for Bill Lee. He's not getting my vote. Um, so now you're going to you're going to run the risk of, you know, getting. Is it Jason? Jason Martin is the Democrat that's running on the other side, as we saw up in Kentucky uh, Andy Bashir, like he leaned heavily on like education and stuff and brought those educators right in and anybody that was a school teacher or anything like that and uh, tricked them with that whole education thing and brought those votes in to, to get a Democratic governor in there. And all those school teachers are really hating it now that and they you voted for have seen how him. COVID went. COVID had the mandatory masks. It had the social gatherings down to tent. Like there was all kinds of silliness going on. And this guy that's running against um, Billy. Bill Lee says he would do the exact same thing. So careful what you wish for uh, when it comes to voting. Um, but also do your research on both candidates. There's a lot of independents too. I think there are 10 independent candidates. Um, so maybe there's something with the independent candidate I don't know about. Let me know if there is, if you if y'all know something that I don't. But I uh, haven't seen anyone that's just standing out that's really going to get my vote. But do your research if you're planning on voting on November 8th. Yep. So that is it from East Tennessee. Hopefully, uh, if you didn't know about the amendments, now you do. Uh, that's what's going on, but that is it. Uh, thank you all. Appreciate you. Uh, TennesseeTuesdays.com, as well as all the social handles at Tennessee Tuesdays. Give us a like, a share, a review. Have a wonderful Tuesday evening. That's it from East Tennessee. Yeah.